And we're back. This time I'm going to show you a very quick abstract blur effect with this image. This effect works really good with images that have vibrant colors and neon lights. Let us first rename our original image to IMG to unlock it and copy it by pressing Ctrl J. Our copy will be the radio blur. Go to filter blur and radio blur. Under blur method, select spin. And as the quality, we first want to have draft to check out if our amount is right. Let's press OK. It takes some time for Photoshop to process it. That was too much, so I press Ctrl Z. I use a little bit less. And I like that way better. Once again, Ctrl Z. Now I go to filter, blur, radio blur. And now I'll change the quality to good. And I might even decrease the amount a little bit more. And I think that looks good in this specific case. Now let me crop the image with the crop tool. That's fine. Press enter when you're done. And now I'll create a new layer on top of it. Activate the paint bucket tool. And I'll choose a color from our radio blur. Maybe this one, that's good. And I'll make the new layer completely in the color. And then I'll choose a different blending mode. Color already looks good, but saturation is the one to go here. Now I'll go back to our radio blur layer. Make the original image visible. Make sure to paint on the new layer mask we have created for radio blur. And go over the face to unblur it. Just zoom in while holding ALT and using your mouse wheel. And uh, go over this area. Make sure your foreground color is black to conceal the blur here. That looks fine. And now I'll make our pink layer visible again. You can now work on the edges in your specific image. In this image, the horizontal line that has been created looks really good. So I'll go over that as well with the black color on the layer mask. And I'll simply leave the edges here. So once again, the results may vary depending on the image that you use. Try to find images that have a very vibrant color. Neon lights work best. And then use a light color as your layer one color with the blending mode saturation. It's quickly done and it really looks cool when you've got the right image. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.